Hello and welcome back to Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. A big hello to all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much and we hope you enjoyed today's story. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes? Then let's begin. Our book today is Shoe by Susie Bauer and Francesca Gambatesa, published by Pushkin Press. Mrs. Golightly didn't like animals. Noisy, stinky, bothersome creatures, she said. Shoo! Then one day, a zoo moved in next door. Now can you help me with these animal sounds? First we have a roar, then a chatter, then a howl. Growl. On Saturday night, Mrs. Golightly looked out of her window. All the animals were dancing round her garden. Mrs. Golightly shouted, Shoo! Shoo! I don't like you! Go back to the zoo! She slammed her window shut and stomped upstairs in a very bad mood. <coughs> stomp, stamp, stomp. On Sunday, Mrs. Golightly found a kangaroo on her loo. Tinkle winkle, plop, party boo. <laughs> Mrs. Golightly shouted, shoo, oh, shoo. I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. On Monday, Mrs. Golightly found a giraffe in her bath. Hubble bubble, splish splosh. Mrs. Golightly shouted, Shoo, shoo, I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. On Tuesday, Mrs. Golightly found an alligator on her radiator. Slurp. Mrs. Golightly shouted. Oh, please join in. Shoo! Shoo! I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. On Wednesday, Mrs. Golightly found a pair of llamas in her pyjamas. Dum diddly dum. Mrs. Golightly shouted. Shoo! Shoo! I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. <sighs> Yawn. On Thursday, Mrs. Golightly found an armadillo on her pillow. Mrs. Golightly shouted, Shoo! Shoo! I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. On Friday, Mrs. Golightly found a polar bear in her chair. <laughs> Bugs under her rugs, bzz, bzz, and a jellyfish in her satellite dish. Wibble, wibble. <laughs> Mrs. Golightly shouted, Shoo! Shoo! I don't like you! Go back to the zoo! On Friday, there were animals everywhere. There were crocs in her socks. Snip, snap! Bats in her hat, flippity flap. And worst of all, ants in her pants, all oh, itchy, scritchy, scratch. Mrs. Golightly shouted, That's it! She picked up a broom and shouted, Shoo, shoo, I don't like you, go back to the zoo! And she shooed all the animals out of her house. Shoo! On Saturday, Mrs. Golightly fixed bars on her windows. Clang! She fixed locks and bolts on the door. Clickety clack! And she installed a very loud burglar alarm. 
On Sunday, she fixed signs on her gate saying, Keep out! Private property! No animals! After that, it was quiet. Very quiet. On Monday, no kangaroo on the loop. On Tuesday, no giraffe in the bath. On Wednesday, no alligator on the radiator. On Thursday, no llamas in her pyjamas. On Friday, Mrs Golightly missed the crocs in her socks, the bats in her hats, the polar bear in her chair, the bugs under the rugs, the jellyfish in her satellite dish, and the armadillo on her pillow. She even missed the ants in her pants. <laughs> On Saturday night, Mrs. Golightly sat all alone by her window. Then she heard all the animals dancing round her garden. What did Mrs. Golightly do? Did she shout? Shoo, shoo, I don't like you. Go back to the zoo. No. She put on her hat and ran out of the front door. Clap, tippity tap, into the garden. Mrs. Golightly shouted, Hello, hello. I do like you. Can I dance too? And she pranced and danced with her new zoo friends all night. Long. <laughs> and on this final page, she's snoring in bed. Zzz. The end. Oh. Well, we absolutely loved that, didn't we, Patrick? I wonder what the rhyme could be if he was in the story. There's a sausage dog in the bog. <laughs> or perhaps there's a wiener on the vacuum cleaner. Oh, well, do join us again for another story time with Hannah and Patrick. Remember to like and subscribe to find out when our next story is live. Have a wonderful week, my little readers. See you soon. Bye. A kangaroo on her loo. Tinkle winkle. Farty poo, it says farty poo. <laughs> and a jellyfish in her satellite dish. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> I feel a bit dizzy.